everyone, it's Lynn. Welcome to my crafty corner. Uh, today's card has a it's a fun fall card and I can't remember what is it a W? Yeah, a W fold inside. And it is inspired by I saw a video by Donna at um Taffy Crafting. Uh, so if you head over to hers you'll be able to see it she's using uh, the pansy petals as well paper and i've decided to use this paper which i love so much yeah. well i'm going to use it anyway enough of that <laughs> so yes it's uh donna at taffy crafting and i think she got it from somewhere else but hey ho it doesn't matter we all make cards i've got a four by a uh, five by six blank and then i have cut two pieces of look at that <sighs> i'm using that side two pieces in fact th uh, yeah two pieces of, of the pattern paper at uh, five and five eighths by four i've got a lilac colored piece of cardstock at five and five eighths by four and then i've got another pattern piece this is beautiful <laughs> it's beautiful paper sniff it oh um and this is five and three eighths by three and six eighths we'll come to all that gubbins in a minute we'll do the card itself first so I'm just going to glue these two gingham pieces inside. One on each side. You could use it that way if you wanted. No, I've got that on the outside. I love the gingham. I like the gingham. Still got plenty of this paper pad left to sniff and, and stroke. But it breaks my heart to use it. But that's what it's there for. It's like I've got two little... I've got an angel and a devil on each shoulder. Oh, I love it. Use it. Use it, use it, use it. I know, I know I've got to use it. But it is sad. Because it's no more. I don't think it's any more. That's not very straight, but never mind. The inside will take your eye away from that unstraightness and tardiness by Lynn, who's upset about using the beautiful paper. I'm sure I'll find some more to gloat over. Mm -mm -mm. There. So, that's the inside done. Now the outside, we'll put this purple one on first. Lilac, purple, whatever. It's a, a hue of purple, a purple hue. I had my nails done the other day. I should have said on my last video, but I'll say it now. I'll just move Tuffy Crafting out of the way while I do this. I'll put it on the description anyway. There we go. So that's the base of the card done. Now. I've got some of the pansies cut out, which I got from um, from the pansy petal paper, and I cut them out with my scan and cut. I've got two large and two small, and some leaves. Uh, I've got a um, starburst in purple. I think it's just over two inches that, because that's a white. Um, that's a two-inch circle, the white one. So that's those and then here we go we have got a piece of cardstock which is sorry old money eight inches long and it is scored at two four and six 
That's easy, isn't it? Two, four, and six. Or it is just over 20 centimeters long. 23. And that's scored at 5, 10, and 15. And it is 12 centimeters deep. Or four and three quarter inches. I can't remember how I cut it now. I think she marked it so many inches. So she cut it four and three quarters by eight and then she marked down. So there, what is that? Two inches. So she marked two inches and then cut it from the top down. She put it in, put it in your trimmer and put that edge, uh, that point at the top, and then you mark your two inch mark at the bottom part of your um, your diddly squat, your uh, trimmer, paper trimmer, and just cut it off. So then you work out how much. Well, what I did was. I got some pattern paper and I cut it four point eight centimeters. They're all four point eight centimeters, which is one and one and seven eighths. One and seven eighths wide. Right now, the first one I cut, and it is oh, here we go, measuring again. It is four and one eight, uh, no, four and five eighths, four and five eighths, or eleven point seven centimeters. Four and five eighths are eleven point seven centimeters, and the next one is. Boop, boop, boop. Three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths. So that is nine point nine or ten centimeters. And the next one is I should have wrote all this down before I came on, but I didn't. Three and three sixteenths. By eight or eight centimetres. I think we've got these weird things because I cut them bigger. And then when I cut them, I'll tell you how I cut them down. So, so that was two and a half, two and a half, that one. Or six and a half. So what I did was I cut them a bit longer than those measurements that I've just given you. So say that one was um, probably about 10 centimetres, six, no, seven, eight centimetres, something like that. And then I just literally got the whole, turned it over and I got the whole piece of paper and I moved it up slightly to what I wanted the border to be like and then moved it up a bit more. So that you got the same sort of at the top. Marked it with a ruler and cut it off. That's what I did with all four of those. If you understand what I mean. So you're going to do, when you've got this fold, uh, scored at two, four and six. You're going to do a valley fold, a mountain fold and a valley fold. So it comes out like an M, not a W, an M. It will be a W if you did it that way around. But looking from that, it's, a, it's an M or a W, whichever way around you do it. Pardon me. So I'm just going to put these, glue these onto there. So we've got four pattern pieces. Wasn't. 
The video would be quicker, wouldn't it, if I did the measurements. I'm going to have to start doing that because I'm a bit silly. bit silly, especially now I've got this metrication on my desk. When I was at school, I started off with pounds and ounces, inches and feet, and then they changed it. Metric came in, so I do sometimes do both, but I do tend to do stuff like this in inches because you still get your card bases four by six five by seven eight by eight pitch frames are the same four by six eight by eight i'm just old okay now we've got two white strips one to go on there I want to go on there. This one I'm going to stamp with a picture. This one I'm going to stamp with a sentiment. <coughs> so I've got two sentiments already on blocks. I'm going to stamp this while I'm doing it. And I'm going to have it as an anniversary card. And the stamps are from these two. They're both Dixie da Dixie. Sweet Dixie um, stamp sets. I got them a couple of years ago. Can't remember where from. Um, but they're, they're really nice stamps. So Sweet Dixie. And then I'm going to put a, a picture on that small one. On that small one in image. Uh, and I've got this little image there from... Uh, this was free with the magazine. Can't remember what the magazine's called, uh, and it's a little pot of pansies, and I thought that'd be really good there, really nice, really nice. So we've got happy anniversary to go on the front. Now I think I'll do that in purple. That sounded juicy when I opened it. Happy anniversary. I don't know whether you can see me. Can you see me? Uh, ooh. I'm committed now. It's down. And that's quite nice. In fact, I'm going to do, I was going to do inside in black, but I'm not. I'm going to do it all in purple. So this says, enjoy your special day. I'll do it all in purple, haven't I? I hope that's straight. It's not as if you can turn the paper around, is it? No, it's cut. It's all right. Okay, let's just clean these off. Might as well clean them off while I'm here. What do you use, Lynn, to clean your stamps? I use stays on, and you can't see it, what it's called. Stays on cleaner, I think it is, stamp cleaner. But they've stuck a label over it in French, so you can't tell what it is. And then I just use a microfiber cloth. Da, 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 da. And that's off. All right. I'll take that one off. Just stick it on there so I don't lose it. And I will get my stamp out of here. Oh, come on. Stay there. Is that not going to be big enough? Oh, just think. I'll put it corner to corner. There. That's on there. So I'm just going to get this. Oh, it just fits on there. Hey, Lynn. Didn't think of that, did you? No. I'll just... If I'm out of shot, I'm sorry. I just need it a bit closer to my old eyes to... Line it up. Oh, look at that. 
smashing. Super smashing, great. Put my paper away. Clean that again. Clean that one. Blah, 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 blah. I'll put them all the way after because I will be a good girl and tidy up. So this one's going to be glued onto there. Just like that. And this one is going to go on there. And that seems to have that seems to have more of a border than that one, so I think I might I might just chop it down a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Come on. Just like an eighth of an inch or something like that. Just Purple thing to match the purple on the card. Well, you see, I match, I coordinate. That's better. That's better indeed it is. I see, no, it's not the inside done. No, no, it's not. Because now we're going to put a pansy in. I'm going to put the big pansies in. I'm just going to glue them down because if you put dimension stuff on it won't, uh, won't close properly. Well it will but get a leaf. Just stick that under Oh, come on. Oh, now I've gone and done it, haven't I? Glued it down. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Just prise you up a wee bit. There you are. You've got a leaf now. And then this one. Don't put any glue under the bottom bin. Don't put much glue there. That one can go there. And we'll have... I'll have this lighter leaf, put the dark ones on the outside. And just bob that under there like that. Put a little bit of extra glue on there now. And it's all squidging out. Okay, so this is now going to go in here. So, we glue that side down first. Oh, sorry. And just bob it on the edge. Now you've got, I've got the gingham, I can line it up. Well, the other side isn't straight, is it? The other side is not straight. So now what I'm going to do is close that up. Put some glue on here. Oh, that was a bit silly, wasn't it? Just hold it for a moment. And then it opens like that. Ta -da! So that's the inside, and now we'll just decorate the outside. Glue on the white circle. Now you could, which I didn't think of until just now, get some ribbon before you stuck those together and 
stick this on the center there if you want with some ribbon coming through and it disappearing under your flowery layer you could but i haven't done that i think that would have been nice or lace you could do it with some lace that would be lovely with some lace but i'm not doing that i'm going to pop a couple of pansies on i think Let's see, we'll just do that like that. I'll put this out there, pop it on some uh, stamp, uh, foamy bits. I had something earlier. I thought I got them out. So. Oh, I need a drink. I was slurping my juice when I finished. So that can go there, like that. And then we'll make up a couple of. Stop it. You're going to fall on me, aren't you? We'll do this with the pansies. So I'll just glue. A little bit of glue on there. Come here. And do it like this. And put some foam squares at the bottom. And glue, we'll put some glue at, at the top. You can put bling on, whatever you like. I might put a bow up. No, I won't put a bow. It'll look a bit too silly. A bit too much, won't it, with a bow? And then we'll get... I've got some smaller ones of these things. And I think they're not quite as deep. These look. So we'll pop that. On there, that on there, that one. See, that's got gingham on the back. You don't know which side to use. This paper's just so beautiful. So beautiful. And just take the backing off of these. So fiddly and tiny. Put that one. Under there like that. Oops. Take this one off. Nearly dropped it. That one. Come here. Under there like that. They are. They are. They are not as um, tall as those others. So that's that card finished. I look nice with a bit of bling this paper anyway um so that's today's card and it's a fun fold and you've got it lovely inside that's not straight is it lynn wow too late now it works so don't look at that do we <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching uh as i said uh hop over to taffy crafting and she i think gives some more dimensions and i think she does a different way of how to uh, cut these panels uh, that's today's card thank you very much a nice little fun fold you can write on the back there or you can write there uh, thank you for watching i've said that about three times now haven't i sorry um give me a thumbs up and uh, for a like if you like it obviously and if you haven't subscribed please think about doing so uh and uh if you subscribe please hit the notification bell then you'll be notified next time i come up with a video so take care of yourself and your loved ones bye